go see to rodeo history. And uh, I can remember being at the, the Wrangler NFR in 1991, and, and I think the common thought was that Billy Eppauer was going to win the world championship, but a funny thing happened. I think Robert won the first three rounds, and the rest was history. And you kind of wonder what that would do to a family, but as you got to know the Eppauers, I, I think it just made them stronger and closer, and I've never seen a group that's that's uh, prouder of each other or takes more delight in the success uh, of the brothers than, than those three guys right there. You have to lump Craig Latham in there with them as well. Uh, it was something to watch them. One year, uh, during the National Finals Rodeo, I was invited to speak at the National VOAG Teachers Convention. And they wanted me to bring a cowboy with me. So I said, okay. And I, I, taught, I taught Dan into going with me. So I, I don't know that I gave him the whole story going out there, exactly what he needed to do, but we got there and it was a, a room probably about this size, maybe even a little bit bigger. And I just said, hey, I'm gonna come up, say a couple nice words about you, and then just kind of tell your story. And as time got closer and closer, Dan was like, oh no, 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 I'm not going. <laughs> and uh, he got a little wider and a little quieter, so we went up, went up there with him. It was more like an interview, I think, for the most part. And I, I kind of sandbagged him a little bit and I blindsided him, and I was glad when it was all said and done that he would still speak to me after it was all over with. But uh, it was amazing to watch these guys. I can remember we some of the most entertaining stuff would be the two brothers that were on the back of the shoots while the other brother was riding. Uh, I guarantee you, when the whistle blew, all three of them had to be exhausted. Here's more on the trio they call the Edbauer Brothers. Their last name says it all, Edbauer. For three boys growing up in rural here in South Dakota, rodeo and riding bucking bronze was much more than simply a keen interest or a passing fancy. It became an obsession and a way of life for Robert, Billy, and Dan Edbauer as they evolved into the first family of South Rock Riding. After honing their skills growing up, the trio burst onto the pro rodeo scene in the late 1980s, and their event was never the same. The Edbauer brothers dominated rock riding in the 1990s in ways no family has before or since, and their accomplishments are nothing short of legendary. Seven South Rock Riding World Championships from 1990 to 2004, and 42 National Finals Rodeo qualifications are proof of the Edbauer trio's dominance. Robert was the first of the brothers to establish as a rodeo champion. He was named the PRC Rookie of the Year in 1985 and became a 12-time NFR qualifier, winning world titles in 1990 and 91, and earned the NFR average titles in 1991 and 95. He won the 1985 Great Lakes Circuit Saddle Rock Riding Championship and the Prairie Circuit Championship three times. One of the most popular rodeo cowboys of all time, Billy Eckhauer's career highlights are legendary. He's been a favorite of rodeo crowds since the first time he nodded his head, earning standing ovations whether he scored or was bucked off. Billy won five world titles in a 12-year stretch, 1992, 96, 99, 2000, and 2004, and is the only cowboy to surpass $3 million in single event earnings in PRCA Ouch. history. He holds the NFR qualifications record, 21, for all rough stock cowboys, and has 51 full round wins. He's earned more than $1 million in the 10-day rodeo alone. Billy twice set the NFR record with 93 point rides on Cool Alley in 2003 and 2004, a record that still stands. He won the Ram National Circuit Finals Rodeo Championship in 1992 and two Prairie Circuit South Rock Riding titles. Dan Eckhauer developed a love for horses and everything Western growing up. He came up in the ranks of 4-H, high school, and amateur rodeo, moving to Oklahoma in the 1980s to attend Panhandle State, competing on the rodeo team where he made the collegiate finals. Dan joined his brothers, turning pro in 1986. He's a 10-time NFR saddle rock rider, winning the 1995 Reserve Championship, and has three Prairie Circuit saddle rock riding titles. He was a Wrangler National Finals Rodeo and National Finals Steel Rope Pickup Man and six-time Texas Cowboy Rodeo Association Pickup Man of the Year. The brothers all finished in the top seven in the world standings in 1989, the top eight in 1990, and the top five in 1991. The terrific trio is the first set of three brothers to qualify for the NFR in the same Rustock event in the same year, a feat they accomplished eight times. They also finished among the top five in 1995 and the top 10 in 1997. 
Competing in a sport with the benefit of brothers and good friend Craig Latham to push one another along is a great asset and one the Eddowers used to motivate and inspire each other. Tonight, the Eddowers brothers, Robert, Billy, and Dan are inducted into the Rodeo Hall of Fame. I think it is that it's over and how much you miss them. Dan, Robert, and Billy, I miss you guys. I, I would give you a buy into the Wrangler run after all this December if I could. Come on down and get your medallions. Teaching what little I know, uh, I really enjoy that part. And most of all, uh, somebody that's helped me the most during the last long time is my wife, Casey. And thank you. 